it's time to pack your hang-ups away because I'm going to show you how to make a fart machine. Yes! <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Freddy. Freddy is a fart machine. Uh, if you're kind of highfalutin and you want to be very intellectual about it, you could say Freddy is an anaerobic digester. But Freddy really is a fart machine. He recreates what happens in your colon, the last bit of your digestive system before you take a poo. Now inside here, we've got three big flasks full of poo. We called up a sewage plant. We said, uh, can we have some poo? And they said, no, you can't. We said, no, really, really, we really need some poo. And they said, um, okay, if you're using it for educational purposes, okay, you can have some poo. Um, now, so in here, we've got three flasks full of poo, and they're being stirred around by these amazing things called magnetic stirrers. They're brilliant bits of lab kit, um, which have a little spinning magnet. It keeps the, pee, the poo moving around um, so that you don't get a crust forming on the top of your poo, so you can keep it brewing. Now, inside here are loads and loads of amazing bacteria, and this is what anaerobic digestion is. It's digestion that happens without any oxygen. Uh, and there's three stages um, where the bacteria break down the digestive matter uh, that's in your, um, in your colon, um, and they produce various different things, they go through various different reactions, and they end up producing farts. Now, farts have lots and lots of different gases in them, lots of carbon dioxide, um, but there's also a fair amount of methane. In. And now methane is fantastic because it's, uh, it's slightly flammable. Now, what this is doing is collecting all of the methane. It's all coming through these pipes, all through these little pipes here. It goes down through the pipe here and up into this chamber here, uh, which is basically displacing water. As more fart is produced, it comes up into it and the water is pushed down. And we can collect it in this baby here. This is a gas syringe. They're beautiful bits of kit. They're a little feeding tubes because you have to feed the beast. Freddy needs to be fed every now and then uh, with some, uh, some biscuits and bits and pieces like that that keep him going. It's quite difficult getting Freddy to be stabilised. You, know, you get, need to get him running for quite a while before he really uh, builds up a head of steam. Uh, and you need to get the heat right. So this is in a nice fish tank that we've kept at sort of body temperature because if you don't keep it at body temperature like your own body, um, then the bacteria won't multiply um, as they should do. And you should be creating farts in your own body because that's part of the digestive process. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And these little tubes here allow you to open it up push some feed in, and then close it off again. Um, so that's what you need. Uh, it's a fair bit of kit, admittedly, and it needs to be quite carefully done. Um, you can do this with cow poo. It's a little bit trickier to get the balance. Um, and all of this effort would really be kind of pointless, um, except for one thing. We can try to light a fart. Stay right there. So Freddie has been um, digesting anaerobically uh, for a little while now, and so it's time to vent him. Um, now, what we need to do is draw some of his gas off. So I guess he's going to basically do a fart, um, but I'm going to collect the gas in this absolutely beautiful gas syringe. So first of all, undo my little Hoffman clip here, and then I'm going to draw off uh, 100 mil of gas. Pretty good. Now, this is a huge amount of absolutely beautiful lab kit. And I think uh, there's only one way to justify um, using it all, and that is to see if we can light one of Freddy's farts. So what I'm going to do is eject the gas um, over a naked flame and see what happens. Hopefully, I don't, don't expect too much. I want to manage your expectations here. Um, but hopefully, we will get something out of it. First of all, I think I should give it a quick smell. Oh! <laughs> That's definitely far material. The question is, oh, it's gopping. <laughs> um, the, the question is, is there any methane in there? Um, it takes a long time for this to settle down and to really start brewing a lot of methane. Um, but hopefully we might be able to see something ever so slightly visible. Let's have a little look. Okay. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> that was a little bit of fart flame. Uh, so thank you very much, Freddie. It's really difficult to get it to be nice and stable. Um, and you need to take a lot of care of it, make it watertight, brew it over a long time, and get lots of advice from people. Hopefully we've um, distilled all of the best advice about how to make an anaerobic digester. And there's a, a kind of a worksheet for you to, to help put together this kind of kit that comes alongside the video. Thank you so much for watching.